Hi friends, Andrea Cox here, and we are live for Tasty Tuesdays. I think my computer might be a little lopsided, but I don't mind if you don't mind. So I'm going to wait while Facebook gathers me an audience. Do me a favor, if you can hear me clearly as you come on here, I see we've got people coming on, go ahead and give me a thumbs up or a heart if you can hear me come through clearly and i'm going to say hello to all of you and once again if i see your name on here give me a thumbs up okay we're headed towards 20 people are already i see the happy smiley faces the hearts the thumbs up that means you guys can hear me clearly let me turn this down oh we can hear me loud and clear can't we so i was just at my favorite grocery store Tell me where you're tuning in from below, by the way, while we log on. Tell me where you're tuning in from below. I was just at my favorite grocery store, and I thought, you know what? I'm going to get home right around 6. It'll take me a minute to set up. Why don't I just share with them what I got at the grocery store? And, you know, I have the luxury of living in Southern California, um, New York, Boston, Few from Boston, Ohio, Hawaii, California, Cleveland, Ohio. Welcome, welcome. So I have the luxury of shopping at a place called Jimbo's. Jimbo's Grocery Store, it's kind of, if you're from the Newport Beach area, it's, it's kind of like a mother's market, which is out there. But Jimbo's has absolutely everything you could ever want, organic, local, everything you, you could ever want. It's not only a vegan. Uh, grocery store. I'm going to make a slight camera adjustment really quick, you guys. Hang on one second. If I had a professional setup here, it would be like a dream come true. I think I fixed it. If you guys saw what my camera sits on, you would laugh. It's it's like this art piece from my living room. Yeah, and I have a tripod. I just I just don't use it. So um, now that hi Isaac, hi Dina, my friend Dina, beautiful Dina, that that video of you in the snow the other day was like, I was like, oh my God, gorgeous. Uh, hi, Hubert, that's a nice name. Hi, Justin. Jimbo's has me, Justin, you're right. Jimbo's has me every day. Jimbo's is something that I really had to like factor into the budget because it's like uh, monthly expenses and then Jimbo's <clears throat> right underneath. Jimbo's is, is um, it's not cheap. Jimbo's is not cheap, but it's my favorite. It's cheaper than Lazy Acres, though. I call that Crazy Acres. Hi, Tracy from Chicago. I think that's the only place I haven't been. Well, I haven't been to a lot of places. Uh, hi, Adele. That's a cool name. Hi, Chris. Hi, Heather Carvey. How are you? Hi, in New York. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Let's get started, shall we? I am going to just take each bag, unload it, and show you what I got. Now, I spent $75 today. I generally spend like once a week. This is going to sound high. This is going to sound extreme. So once a week, um, I used to go to the farmer's market, but now I'm so busy with my two businesses that the farmer's market is actually inconvenient for me because I run into so many people I know, and then I'm like, you know, talking, and then before you know it, it's two o'clock in the afternoon, and I'm like, oh my goodness, yeah, I've got things to do. So I, I go to Jimbo's, and everything's local, everything's from local farmers, it's all organic. So usually I'll go on a Sunday and I'll spend around $200 just getting everything I need. But you know, that includes like some supplements, you know, I like to take enzymes, magnesium, things of that nature, and you know, beauty care products, etc. Um, and then I usually hit Jimbo's like once or twice that same week and spend around 75. So yes, it's like a $400 a week grocery grocery bill, but that's why I work to pay um, to put wonderful things into my body. Now, I know I've done a couple Trader Joe's hauls and things of that nature. I just don't find the quality of food at Trader Joe's that I do Jimbo's. I think Jimbo's is, I mean, his wife is a super lucky woman because I would love to just be able to like go to the grocery store every day and just like put everything in my cart and just, which I, 
kind of do. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? I'm going to take a drink of my favorite spring water, also bought at Jimbo's. Mm. Okay, so the first thing I got was six Mountain Valley spring waters. Now, I've told you about this before, why I drink Mountain Valley spring water. It's the best, it's in glass, and um, glass is really the only way to go. So that's the first thing. Okay, whoops. So, I'm just gonna go through everything. I'm just gonna go through like every single thing. I actually am gonna put this bag right up here. So you can kind of see the back so you know I'm not like I'm not bullshitting you okay the second thing I bought now I really had to like think this through because evolution is not the best brand in my opinion for years evolution put out you know um, I'm actually gonna put the back over here because it's causing the glare for years evolution put out you know juices that were not organic they weren't you know as far as I know they weren't cold-pressed at all but I tried these the other day. I'm loving their, um, did I get the right one? Yes, organic roots and ginger. I got two. I also like their orange juice. Um, so their orange juice is like $4, and this one is like $5.98. Now, yes, I juice a lot on my own. Often days when I'm working from home and I have time, I'll just put a bunch of grains in the juicer with a beet and a piece of ginger. But it's nice to be able to reach in the fridge and have your juice. So the, uh, you know, got two of these. This is called Roots and Ginger. What else did I get? Okay. Now, when I said Jimbo's is organic, did I, like, not lie? This is local organic spinach. I mean, look at that. It's like a bouquet of flowers. This is sunshine, you guys. Eat sunshine so this isn't from like you know a big farm somewhere this is just from jimbo's you know i could have hit the farmer's market on sunday and spent three hours there or i can just go to my local jimbo's up the street and like you know just buy everything i need so spinach we love spinach what else do i have oh my gosh i have so much good stuff now, I'll take uh, these plastic bags and recycle them. I often use them for, I'm not even going to front and act like I pick up my dog's doo-doo because I think dog doo-doo is fertilizer as long as it's not in someone's yard. So I like to leave the dog doo-doo in the park because it's fertilizer. But I use these for other things, so I'll recycle those. Mustard greens, again, local organic mustard greens. So, you know, they've got a wide variety of greens. I got a cucumber because I like to chop up cucumber, put it in my salad. I also like to juice cucumber juice sometimes before the uh, gem, the little squeeze of lemon in it. It's much more beautifying than coffee. Um, I know a lot of you love coffee. I love coffee too. I, I um, often buy coffee from a brand of green tea that I'm about to show you. But, um, you know, it's much more beautifying. Thanks for all the hearts, you guys for the skin and the hair and the nails to just drink some celery or cucumber juice before you hit the gym. Okay, so what else did I get? More Mountain Valley spring water. Hang on, I'm getting in the other bag now. Okay, so this is the company that I buy the cold pressed coffee um, from when I do you know, occasionally, you know, I used to never drink coffee, and then I was in a relationship with someone that, like, drank coffee, and I used to, like, try to make it healthier by putting, you know, medicinal mushrooms and everything in it, and I, tr I made the mistake of trying my own creations one day, and I was like, now I want coffee. Gosh, this is not good. But, you know, I can take it or leave it. I do like this matcha latte by Rebel. Now, you can make your own matcha latte very, very easily, by the way, just by blending some almond milk and um, some matcha, you know, green matcha powder, and heating it up, um, putting a little bit of spice in there, and that's delicious as well. But, uh, you know, um, I like to buy it. It's convenient. It's convenient for me. Let me fix this light really quick. 
I'm such like a one woman, um, I'm such a one woman setup here that like, you guys would laugh if you saw my camera set up. Okay, that's much better that you can see. Ah, oh, what did I, what else did I buy? My girlfriend, Jessica Rimmer, she'll remember, uh, I had her on my YouTube channel. She's up in LA. She just got married. So happy for her. She was making homemade jackfruit today. And of course I'm buying it. She's making me feel guilty. But what can I say, you guys? I was a hardcore sprout your own sprouts for years, you know, make everything from scratch, scratch, scratch. And that takes a lot of time. I'm not in the hills of Ohio anymore. I'm in Southern California where they have pre-made barbecue jackfruit. I love this. You guys know I eat two of these a day. It's an expensive habit. Hello, jackfruit company. Feel free to send me some more again. Um, excellent, excellent, excellent. You know, jackfruit, um, there was an article. I cannot remember where I read it. Well, I actually know where I read it, but I don't want to like support that news. Um, that news channel because I really don't like them. But uh, I saw that they said, you know, you could feed a impoverished country on jackfruit alone. It has every vitamin and mineral that the body needs. And I love, love, love jackfruit. I don't like it plain. I don't like it plain. I think it, it tastes like bubble yum plain, but this is excellent. So I got two of those. Oh, I got fresh dill, and I'm gonna show you what I love to do with fresh dill. So I'm gonna show you that. I'll just show you that now. Why don't I show you that now? So I love, love, love to take little red potatoes and coconut yogurt that I also buy at Jimbo's that's in my bag, and fresh dill and make like dill new potatoes. That's such a good idea to do. I do that often. So I got fresh dill, and you know, really, guys, the best way to store dill, in my opinion, is to put it in like a glass or a canning jar with a little bit of water, like so. It's, it's like you have flowers on the table, but it keeps it fresh. So I usually always keep my herbs in um, a little canning jar of water. I can see a few more of you uh, do that as well. Okay, let me, oh, you're welcome, Dina. Okay, so what did I buy next? Ah, uh, red leaf lettuce, again, organic. Now, I'll get out my Debbie Meyer green bags, like I said earlier, and I'll store all these organic greens, but uh, three-second roll, <laughs> uh, red leaf lettuce. So, you know, already, right? Spinach, this is like one salad for me. Spinach, mustard greens, red leaf lettuce, so much. Again, recycle the bags. I got an avocado. And la 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 la. Hillary's dressing, we love Hillary's dressing. Hillary's dressing is just the bomb diggity, in my opinion. I want Hillary to hire me to be her spokesperson. I got uh, quinoa dark chocolate by Alter Ego. We, um, we all have an Alter Ego, don't we? Yeah, I think we do, I think we all do. I know mine's been acting up lately and I'm just like smacking it down like, Ego, I thought I got rid of you, apparently not. Now, this is what Jimbo's kind of is not good for, but good for. So I also get some baked treats at Jimbo's. Let me show you my healthy tomatoes first before I show you the baked treats because that's where I kind of get in a little bit of trouble. I'm so spoiled by Jimbo's. So I got some heirloom tomatoes. Aren't those beautiful? Roger's like looking at me like, hurry up, woman. Uh, I did get some coconut yogurt, but let me show you one I like better. Now, I wanted to compare these two for making those, uh, you know, the potato thing I told you about, where you take little red potatoes and you take, you know, and you boil your potatoes or you steam your potatoes. I'm a potato girl. I'm from Ohio. Non-GMO corn and potatoes are what I grew up on. I'll never quit eating carbohydrates. I think people are nuts. It has nothing to do 
with body composition or anything like that. It all has to do with, you know, being plant-based and food combining. But anyway, so I love to take a little coconut yogurt once it sours and it tastes like sour cream mixed in with the potatoes and the dill. How yummy is that? I think I'll have that tonight. So, Coco Yo. Coco Yo? Can you see it? Coco Yo. Or, you know, so delicious if you want to be a cheapy like me. I was throwing so many things in my cart. I was like, I know I have the Coco Yo at home. I'll do this. So, that's something else I bought. Okay. So, and of course I got um, stevia, I, I know, I got the, the white powdered stevia and, and I shouldn't do that, but um, it's, you know, it's stevia and quite honestly, on occasion, people come over and they're like, oh, do you have any stevia? And I'm like, yes. So, here's the thing that Jimbo's is so known for and I am so guilty of always stopping at their... Basically, I would have a six pack if I stopped eating this and every time I do stop eating it I do have a six pack, but They make vegan gluten-free baked goods Like for real this is a coconut chocolate chip cream pie Yeah, right They also make chocolate chip vegan rice cookies, so you know, Jimbo's, hang on one sec, you guys. Okay, you guys, okay, okay. Go ahead, go ahead. Don't you guys love, don't you love how I just walk away from the camera while you guys are on? I'm like, I don't care. It's like, what? I only have like 20,000 followers on here and 5,000 friends, but I don't care what you guys think. I'm like, oh, I'll walk away. My dogs need out. Okay, I let the dogs out. So, you know, they make a lot of good baked goods. So I'm guilty for buying the baked goods, yada, yada. So let's go over really quick what I got at Jimbo's for 75 bucks. I got like six of these. More like four of those. I got some Rebel Matcha Latte, some Hillary's dressing. This is her balsamic thyme. I got two organic cold-pressed evolution roots and ginger juices. I got two luscious heirloom tomatoes. I got an avocado. I don't think I shared that with you, an organic avocado. Everything's organic there. Two jackfruits, barbecue jackfruit by the Jackfruit Company. Mustard greens, excellent for the liver. Whenever you eat a bitter green, it detoxes the liver, so know that. Red leaf lettuce, spinach, cucumber, coconut yogurt, things I shouldn't be eating but I do because I'm naughty and probably should go out more, um, and dark quinoa chocolate and some vegan rice cookies. So, you know, for 75 bucks, you, you get a lot. I probably won't hit the store until the weekend again. Um, and you know, you can make do with what you have in the fridge, you know, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. And you know, three tips that I really like to abide by whenever I go to the store. Welcome Tammy, welcome Isaac, welcome Iron, welcome Georgia. Uh, three tips I love to abide by is number one, take stock of what you already have. So go through your refrigerator and say, you know, Okay, I already have this, 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 and this. Kind of make a little list. This is what I have. Okay, so I've got some red potatoes. I knew I had red potatoes at home. I thought, okay, dill, coconut yogurt. I'll make some like sour, creamy tasting vegan potatoes. Um, you know, oh, I'm out of jackfruit. I need that. And then make a list and stick to it. So those are two tips. Take stock of what you have. Make a list. Stick to the list. Also, you know, don't go to the store hungry. That's a huge no-no. You'll end up buying the whole, whole store. I spend double. When I go to the store and I'm fresh out of the gym and all I've had is a juice, I'm like grabbing things I would normally never eat, like coconut chips and everything. I'm like, oh my gosh. So, you know, don't go to the store hungry. Uh, another tip, you guys know to shop the perimeter of the store, but really stick to the list. So I hope that helps all of you. So I have an announcement to make. Now I'll be doing a, I, you guys are really enjoying the 
weekly energy reads. I'm getting emails from you, a lot of messages here on Facebook. Thank you so much. I was so nervous to kind of break that out. So I launched a new website, you guys, a second website. So andreacox.com is my first website. All of my supplements, all of my digital programs, all of my books, everything are on that site. My retreats are on that site. My coaching's on that site. Everything's on that site. My blog's on that site. However, I launched a second site called The Detox Intuitive. So thedetoxintuitive.com, check it out. We'll be collecting um, you know, your email uh, starting tomorrow morning. So if you guys want to sign up, um, I'll have a newsletter I'm sending out through there as well as andreacox.com. Uh, so check that out. Let me know what you think. I offer a completely um, different line of health-related services on that website, and I think you guys will really like it. Uh, I'm AndreaCox.com. I'm, Andre I'm AndreaCox.com. No, I'm Andrea Cox. Uh, thank you so much for being here tonight, and have a beautiful week. Drink your juice, even if you didn't make it, and uh, be well. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.